Hello everyone, what is up? This is Nork the Childa here, and welcome back to another video, guys. So today, just now, RobTop released a new 2.2 video, and uh, it's basically called Fun with 2.2 Camera Controls. Now, this, as of now, has four views. I just clicked onto it. I watched it, like, once, so it probably has more views now. It's 48 seconds long. It's pretty long. It's another, like, Fun with 2.2 video. First, he had the random trigger video last week and now this is another fun with 2.2 video so now it's kind of like a series i guess i don't know um but this one's a bit different than his other sneak peek videos but uh let's just get get right into it okay so fading in here we can see not using a new icon not using a new ground but this is a new background it's like a cool desert with like cactus and mountains and and cool stuff and uh, it actually looks really really nice um I mean, it doesn't look too special now that I think about it, but, like, it, it, it's cool, I guess. I don't know, but that's not the point of this video. Let's get into it. We have another song that Rob Top may be composed, and here, we, he, here he says with text, let's have some fun with camera controls. So I, I didn't exactly know what to expect when I saw this title, but, like, well, okay, let's just look. Camera controls, okay. Demon... So there's triple spike there. Zoom. So now <laughs> you can see that there's this standard look, obviously. But then you have a zoom feature, which changes it so you can see so much more of the screen. This makes your player smaller in the frame of the screen. And it makes it so that like, you can just see more of, of the level and more of the layout. So it's actually really, really cool. Okay, so with all this... You can see more of the level. It looks really awesome how far out you are. This also leaves a lot of room for, like, design up here and stuff, so you can have a bunch of deco and a bunch of things uh, higher up. Now we have camera offset. This is pretty cool also. So you can kind of, like, move where the camera is, I guess. So you can see the icons kind of, like, at this part of the screen. Um, here it's kind of just, like, in the similar spot as, like, the normal mode, but just kind of, like, a bit... Um, like scale downs so, like technically like the ratio is the same in in this okay so this is a normal but this ratio of like the player where the screen is is the same as this one but the camera offset changes it so like it'll move it back a bit so now the icons like on this side of the screen and so that's actually really crazy now you can have an icon like over here and you have to like if you're navigating through a level, you're going to have to, like, jump over stuff. Maybe, like, you won't even be able to see it because your icon's, like, so far to the right. That that can be that can be pretty interesting. And then the offset switches back, and it's still in this wide mode. And now we have static camera. This is actually really, really cool, and this can be used in so many cool ways. I, like, I think this can be really awesome for a lot of things, but let's just see. So, static camera, basically, what it says static camera it has a fixed camera and your icon kind of like moves through the level which looks really 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 cool um it looks awesome i mean it just it's it's great i mean and also like the transitions look super fluid like i'm assuming maybe you can like have a transition like a bounce transition like this the similar transition transitions you have for like movement and rotation like maybe you can have that for the camera as well yeah, like, it's 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 kind of like a fluid, like, transition, but you can just, like, move through the thing. It looks really cool. And then once your icon, like, hits the end, I guess it maybe, like, resets it, I guess? So that's kind of cool. You can kind of, like, just keep moving through different frames. That'd be really awesome for, like, story-type levels, maybe having, like, different themes of each, like, section. That'd be really cool. Please rate my level. Yes, obviously. Rob Top has to throw that in there. Self-promotion. Um... And, uh, you know, I think that, uh, that's interesting how you can have, uh, oh, wait, oh, that actually brings up another interesting point I just thought of. Because you have this text here, please rate my level, the text can be on the screen for longer, because normally the text would go at the same rate as the player is going through the level, but now it's the whole time it takes to go through the whole thing. So this text in, like, a normal camera mode would probably take like definitely a lot less time definitely a lot less time so it allows time to read more text and if if there are like story levels using text 
it might be easier to like read things. Um, that that would actually be really cool, and like, and that would kind of prevent you from using like a move trigger to set it like moving with the player so like you can read it for longer now it can it can kind of just be a bit more like natural you can see it for longer so that's cool so we have more of this fixed camera then it goes back to the normal look one more thing okay so one more thing actually two more things here because there's something after this but then there's this so as he says one more thing it zooms in on the icon so we have so we saw the outer zoom before, and now we see the inner zoom. We see zooming in. Um, and this is actually also really cool. This can kind of... I guess creators could kind of use this as, like, a bigger mode, right? You may, you can, like, have tinier blocks, but it looks like the icon's bigger, so it's, like, jumping over. That would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's actually really awesome to, like, zoom in. So you see, so you see a lot less of the level. That might be good for, like... Um, like, spooky, like, dungeon darkness levels and, like, you know, you're going through, like, a cave or, like, something and you can, you can't see, like, that far ahead of you. That'd be really cool. This, like, makes the experience of, like, themed levels and, like, levels that, like, have a purpose and, like, try to make you go through something, like, feel something, like, it just makes it more realistic. It's so nice. So, one more thing after this. It zooms back out and now we have a big zoom out again. And we've got free fly mode. So, there's no roof. There's still a ground, but there's no roof on the ship. And So look what happens. Literally, he is just flying up and down. And the screen moves with him, so if he goes a bit higher, the screen will shift up. If he goes down, it'll shift down. This opens so many new possibilities. Like, boss fights, like, I don't even know. Like, just crazy stuff. Like, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy what can be done now. And it's, 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 it's insane. It's literally insane. Like, this is something I didn't even think of in Geometry Dash. Like, I didn't think about this being a possibility or, like, this actually being a thing, like, changing how the camera works. But this is a, is actually a really, like, crucial creative element that can really be used in amazing ways in 2.2. This free fly mode, I feel like a lot of people have, um, like, wanted this. I think in, like, the beta of Geometry Dash, which was called Geometry Jump, there was, like, a similar thing where the ship didn't have a ceiling, but I'm not sure how it worked. Um, I'll link that video below, I guess. Um, but yeah, free fly mode is... It's it's crazy. I mean, you, you can have, like, multiple paths of a level, and it's, like, a whole, like, maze, sort of. Boss fights will be awesome. Uh, just craziness. Craziness. The whole creating universe just because of this has like expanded tenfold like random trigger like was amazing like for creators and like opportunities this i feel like is even more amazing just because it's a creative element that's so new to geometry dash like the random trigger is like another trigger and it you know does have a huge effect and it will have a huge effect but this camera stuff is crazy like static camera is obviously my favorite so far and, like, maybe the zooming in. The zooming out is kind of, like, it looks cool, but I don't know how much, like, I, I, like, love it. But, I mean, the static camera is just so nice. Um, but, yeah, and then zooming in also looks really cool when the icon gets a lot bigger. And now with high detail mode, that'll look nice. Free fly mode is crazy. There's so much stuff in this video. This is, like... I'm pretty sure this may be, like, the longest video Rob Top has, like, showed us since, like, the 2.0 editor preview video. So, this is cool, and it's cool how he's using, like, text in these videos and, like, making it, like, an actual level, and then he plays through, like, the own level that he built, and it's, like, part of the video. But, yeah, guys, camera controls in 2.2. It's crazy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. It's a bit long, but, you know, it's a f almost 50-second video, so I had to cover... A good amount of things and uh rob top's been posting a lot of stuff about 2.2 so 2.2 rob top may not be lying about when it's coming out he said um that it would be out shortly after 2.11 and uh it very well could come out within the next week or two or a month i don't know but it is very very close and I, it's super exciting to see all these things he's posting and camera controls are just oh blissful it will make creating so like It'll make it so different. Like, as, as I said before, like, the random trigger is kind of like an addition to existing triggers. 
camera controls it's like a new feature you know it's like it's like it's like raw like it like it couldn't be used. like people have already kind of like replicated the random trigger in 2.1 no one can exactly replicate this i mean unless you have like move triggers but even still it doesn't look the same i mean this just looks super clean um like it just looks awesome uh and i'm super excited to see how creators use it i i might use it i mean i've kind of slowed down on creating a bit but maybe i'll get back into it and have some resurgence and all this stuff will be crazy so guys i'm going to play the video one more time at the end and uh, you guys can enjoy that. But until then, guys, if there's another 2.2 video that comes out, I'll be sure to review it as soon as it drops. But I'm excited for 2.2, guys. Camera controls look sick. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.